Porsche just applied for a patent for a W18 engine. So let's take a closer look at this. Porsche is loved for their last two supercars, Carrera GT and 918 Spider. But while the competition already showed the next generations, Porsche didn't commit yet, although they showed a promising 919 Street version. Porsche concentrated on their electric transformation, as their cash cows Macan, Cayenne and 718 will be fully electric. Because lots of customers don't like that direction with higher prices, higher weight and less quality, Porsche has a huge problem at the moment. In addition to that, the China business slipped away because of more competitive Chinese electric cars and the important US market just introduced high import taxes, which is hard for a brand like Porsche without a factory in the US. So Porsche is in serious trouble right now. And so it comes as a surprise to suddenly see a patent for a turbocharged W18 engine. First of all, why W18? In recent years we could see that hypercar customers like interesting technologies in their cars. It's not enough to have a fast electric car. They want something unique, a mechanical masterpiece, just like an exclusive watch. While other manufacturers reactivated their V12s and Bugatti introduced their V16, a W18 engine for a supercar would definitely create lots of interest for the car and position Porsche above the competition. The W engine isn't new. Already the innovative Rumpler Tropfenwagen in 1921 had a W6 engine. The Audi Avos in 1990 had a W12 engine with three cylinder heads and four cylinders each. And the initial idea for the Bugatti Veyron was a naturally aspirated W18 engine, also with three cylinder heads. The W8, W12 and W16 engines on the roads later on were no real W engines and instead VVR engines with two cylinder heads, but VVR doesn't sound as good as W. So what's the advantage of a W18 engine? You can put 18 cylinders in the same length as a straight 6 or V12 engine. Because of the firing gap and the mass moments, it's a very smooth running engine. Problems are cooling, because you have so many cylinders on relatively small space, complexity, number of moving parts, internal friction and weight. Another problem is the asymmetry of the engine. You can have the exhaust on the outside, but in the middle there will be one hot outlet facing one cool inlet. Porsche states to use 60 degree bank angle and three turbochargers, one for each bank. The packaging will be a challenge as the inner turbo is either in between or further back behind the engine. Porsche explains that the inlet is nice and straight, but it depends here where this is coming from as there would be an intercooler upstream. So if we assume a standard size of half a liter per cylinder, this would be a 9 liter engine, which seems realistic as the Bugatti V16 is 8.3 liters. It wouldn't be a high revving engine and one turbocharger for one 3 liter straight 6 cylinder engine means it would be a bigger turbo. So maybe Porsche's MGUH concept of the 911 turbo could be used here as well to help to get boost at low RPM, but that would increase weight and costs. Since 200 horsepower per liter is relatively normal today in the world of supercars, we could expect this engine to produce 1800 horsepower. And that would really be something. While Ferrari's F80 has a 3 liter V6, the Mercedes a 1.6 liter V6, the McLaren a V8 turbo, just like the Koenigsegg, and the Bugatti a 8.3 liter V16, it would be amazing if Porsche suddenly comes out with a 9 liter W18 engine. That would definitely position them above the competition, even if it doesn't have the fastest lap times. And with 1800 horsepower from the combustion engine, it wouldn't need lots of hybrid power. Maybe if Porsche accepts higher emissions for a model with very limited production numbers, it could even get away without heavy electric drivetrain stuff. And that would be quite a statement opposite to Porsche's current lineup direction. So that leaves the question, why now? Porsche is in a deep crisis right now, committed to fully electric drivetrains on their important cash cows. 
profit dropped significantly. More than 8,000 jobs are in jeopardy. So why do they spend their resources on designing a W18 turbo engine? Has the strategy U-turn already happened internally? Or is this that glimpse of special Porsche engineering that still sits deep inside? How would you like a W18 Porsche supercar? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.